Greetings and salutations. War is hell, said helicopter door gunner to Private Joker after shooting innocent Vietnamese farmers in Stanley Kubrick's epic Vietnam War film, Full Metal Jacket. Yes, my friends, war is hell. And that hell is at the heart of this latest news concerning the prosecution of Chief Special Warfare Operator Edward Eddie Gallagher, the Navy SEAL who, according to the Navy Times, is accused of committing multiple war crimes, including stabbing to death an unarmed and seriously wounded Islamic State prisoner of war during a 2017 deployment to Iraq, plus shooting an old man and a young girl in a violent spree that prosecutors contend might have claimed hundreds of lives in the war zone. According to witnesses, the Islamic State prisoner was only 15 years old. But it's not just the bronze medal winning Navy SEAL chief's actions that are coming under fire, but the chain of command around him as well. You see, the New York Times is now reporting that according to a confidential Navy criminal investigations report, seven members of Gallagher's platoon who tried to report the murders allegedly being committed by Gallagher were told by their troop commander and his senior enlisted aide, both longtime comrades of the accused platoon leader, that speaking out could cost them and others their careers. Not to mention the fact that Chief Gallagher was also allegedly threatening harm to any teammates that spoke to authorities about his alleged actions. Lawrence Brennan, a retired Navy captain and military lawyer, told the New York Times, quote, the willingness of an institution to turn a blind eye is common. It's especially true in warfare communities. And in the SEALs, you don't just keep it in the family, you keep it in the immediate family. My friends, if war is hell, then peace is heaven and silence is purgatory. So let's break down the military industrial walls of silence and start watching the Hawks. If you want to know what's going on in your city and your streets, never back down like Tyrell and the truth is what you seek. To analyze, investigate from the bottom to the top. You speak your mind like Sean Stone, whether they like it or not. I got Tabitha, Miss Wallace, with the wisdom and the pearl. Between the outrage and the evidence, what's going on in this world? Watching the Hawks, watching the Hawks, watching the Hawks, listen when they talk. Welcome everyone to Watching the Hawks. I am Tyrell Ventura and joining me today to discuss this wall of silence and the horrors of the military industrial complex wars is the host of the world according to Jesse, former UDT SEAL and governor of Minnesota, Jesse Ventura. De Always a pleasure having you on. Thank you, Tyrell. Uh, I'll, I'll state this. Uh, this isn't an easy show for me to do today because after all, they're talking about my military unit and what I was when I was in the United States Navy, and uh, that makes it difficult to talk about it in many ways. I'm, I'm sure it, it is, and it's a, it's a difficult story to read too, because these are the best of the best, and, and you hate to see if, if you know if this is all true. You hate to see these kind of actions being perpetrated by our, our men in uniform. You know, as as you said, as a member of, of UDT SEAL team. Was there a code of silence that existed in the teams and the armed forces as a whole uh, when you served in the Vietnam era? And, and should soldiers be covering up, lying, or staying silent to protect their own, even when it comes to potential war crimes or crimes against humanity? Well, it's something that each and every uh, soldier, sailor, marine airman would have to judge for themselves because it falls to me under something that's called honor. And the only way you have honor is to tell the truth. A liar does not have honor. So ultimately, anyone involved, and let me state, I know nothing about all this. I know only what I've read lately. I wasn't there, so I don't want to judge who's telling the truth and who's not. But it comes down to honor. And that means at night, you got to go home and look in the mirror. And you have to know, did I tell the truth? Did I have honor? Much like the great movie with Cuba Gooding and Robert De Niro, Men of Honor, about Carl Brashear, the black diver, Navy hard hat diver, the same thing, honor. And it comes down to that in situations like this. Are you going to be honorable and tell the truth, or are you going to be dishonorable and lie? 
You know, it, it's interesting because it, it feels like we've seen a lot of, of accusations in recent years, uh, uh, really horrific accusations, uh, you know, come out of these crimes. So some very much proven to be true where, you, you know, you see soldiers like Gallagher or even Chris Kyle uh, and you hear these stories of, you know, sniping women and children indiscriminately. In this case, you know, Gallagher alleged, you know, allegedly stabbed a POW, a prisoner of war to death who was 15. You have to wonder why our military, you know, is producing or at least attracting individuals who, you know, many would say are, are committing psychopathic acts. Why are we seeing that? Well, it's a perfect place for a sociopath to go. Mm. I mean, if, if you're a sociopath going into that type of work, I would judge could be a perfect thing for you. You'd really enjoy it. The thing to remember, I face this.